Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new NECA ELF. And before we get into this, I have to be honest with you, I'm not really like connected to ELF in any way. When this show was coming out, I was a little too young and I just never gravitated towards it. Obviously, I had seen clips of it growing up and I'm familiar with the character, but it's not really a show that I was like connected to. I don't have any strong like affinity for ELF as a character. It's not really like something that I was clamoring for. But the only reason I picked this guy up is because I heard what a good figure he is so you know from that perspective i was very curious and when i saw the figure i was like yeah that thing looks awesome so i grabbed it and then i came home and i watched a couple of episodes of alf and i could definitely see why people like it so much it's it's a very cool show and you know it's interesting because it kind of still holds up obviously it's very old and there's things that are dated but the thing that people like about it is alf's comedy and i think that that holds up pretty well he does have some pretty you know, family-friendly, good jokes. So, yeah, I could see why people like it, and I could see why people were excited about this figure. And for the fans of ALF, I'm really happy that this figure came out so good. And, yeah, man, I'm just really excited to check it out. Shout out to Dork Lair. He's the one who kind of sold me on this figure. I was talking with him, and he was, like, all excited about it and telling me, like, how surprised he was by the quality of it. So, you know, I was like, damn, I got to check that out. But let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with the packaging. So, ALF does come in the typical ultimate style packaging we get a look at him right there he's making a funny little comment that's awesome up there it says alf down here it says ultimate action figure alien life form and then on the side of the box we get a look at the figure itself and he does look really cool there with his sunglasses <laughs> and then on the back of the box we get a look at the figure in a bunch of um, you know situations that we would see the character in in the actual show he's trying to eat a cat down here he's you know talking on his uh ham radio thing i think that's what it's called <laughs> me show for my own products no problems damn that's funny like i didn't notice that one and i didn't notice this one on the side until just a minute ago but yeah that's cool that he says little funny things <laughs> me show for my own products hey i can relate to that hey guys need something to keep the nightmares away buy an odious plushie link in the bio he doesn't even stink and then down here it says includes um, you know, all the accessories, I'm not going to list them off because we're going to take a look at them. And then on the side of the box, we get a look at the figure again. And it says, spare some change for a reboot. Very cool. And then, oh, down here at the, at the bottom, it gives us all the people that were involved in creating this figure. So that's always cool to see. And then you can open this up. We get a shot of Alf right here doing his thing. And then on this side, you can see the figure along with all the accessories that he comes with. And yeah, he is looking awesome. So, very excited to open this up. Enough about the box, let's go ahead and get Alf out and take a look. Alrighty, so, here we have Alf right out of the box, and I'm very happy to say that this guy definitely lives up to the hype. Alf came out awesome. NECA really did a great job with it. Once again, coming through, straight killing it with an old school character from our childhood. I'm sure that people that like are big fans of Alf are going crazy over this figure. I don't see why they wouldn't because this is like, this guy's pretty much perfect. I can't think of anything that I dislike about him. You know, I can't imagine that you'd want something else out of an elf figure. This guy just kind of gives you everything that you want. So yeah, they really did a great job with it. The sculpting work is very nice on him. The fur looks good. There's some great looking shading in there. The hands, the face, the feet, all of that has a lot of detail and just looks really, really nice. All the joints felt good too. Right out of the box, everything moved really well. The hip joints were a little tight, so I did put a drop of, um, you know, that my gun oil that I use in there just to, just to, you know, I don't want to risk anything. So just to get it to move around a little bit, a little bit easier and more freely, I put a little drop of oil in there, and you know, now it's we're good to go. And even before, it was okay, but it was just a little tight, and it was kind of making me nervous. So, yeah. Put in a drop of oil in there, perfected it, and now we're good to go. But yeah, aside from the, the hips, everything else felt really, really good. Um, I didn't even have to heat up anything to get the joints to move. Everything just moved really nicely right out of the box. But yeah, man, this is awesome. This is such a great figure. But uh, let's go ahead and get in close and take a look at the details on him. The sculpting and the paint detail on ALF is very well done. Starting off at the head, as you can see, they did a great job of putting subtle paint work in the sculpt to bring out the details as you can see right here on the nose or the snout whatever that's called there we have a little bit of a black wash or like a brown wash in the uh, lines there so that does look cool <laughs> man he's such a crazy looking character 
Look at that. All the details look good. Look at the uh, fur and the face and everything. The eyes look nice too. So they did a good job with that. I like how the eyes kind of have like a reflective look. That's always cool. The ears have a little bit of black paintwork in there to bring out some of the details. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of black on the ear where it's not supposed to be, but you know, it's not a big deal. Could probably clean it up or, you know, I might just leave it. I didn't even notice it for a while, so I'm good. Uh, but yeah, this looks nice. They did a great job of hiding the mouth articulation in the sculpt here. So really good stuff on the head. And then moving down into the body, you know, we have a lot of fur and it looks really, really good. It's all sculpted very well. This bottom half is like a softer piece, but they still maintained a lot of really great details and it looks good, man. NECA always does a good job with the soft like overlay pieces. And it's not hollow. There's a hard plastic piece in there as well. So yeah, it looks good. Look at all the layers of fur with all the paint and stuff. And then the hands have the little pads on the, uh, the palm there, like an animal, like a dog or something. And then moving down to the feet, look at that. <laughs> that looks really good. Got some more of the uh, little dog pads. Some nice, I like how they gave the feet a little bit more of a paint wash, you know, since he like walks around and stuff. So his feet are likely to get dirty and the figure reflects that. So that's nice. But yeah, they do a good job of just like blending the articulation in with the fur. Obviously, you could see it, but it doesn't look like it doesn't catch your eye in a negative way. It just looks good. So yeah, man, the details and the sculpting, the paintwork, everything on this guy is really well done. Although there's not a whole lot of like different types of textures and paints and things going on, like the uh, all the colors and everything are pretty are pretty basic, but it all works very well. They executed everything perfectly, and I think the figure looks really, really nice with some great details, some great sculpt, and some great paint. So I'm very happy with the way he looks. And then for accessories, we get a bunch of cool stuff, including a few different sets of hands. So first off, we have a set of open flat hands, and then we have a set of gripping hands, but these gripping hands are different sizes on each side. And then we have a set of pointer finger hands, and then we have one bigger gripping hand for the left side and this can be used to hold on to the soda can that he comes with and he does have a bunch of other really cool accessories starting off with this as you can see he has a bowl of popcorn the popcorn itself looks pretty good we have some different colors in there and stuff the bowl is plain and pretty basic but it definitely works so this is a good accessory then he does have a bag of slime balls and I don't know what's up with this does he throw these things at somebody does he make them what's the deal with the slime balls I did not see uh, these in the episodes I watched, but uh, yeah, I'll take some slime balls, whatever. <laughs> and then we have this, which is probably, I would say this is probably my second favorite accessory because this is hilarious. This is kind of like a uh, a running joke in the show that Alf likes to eat cats and he's always kind of threatening to eat the family cat. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. There's some funny situations with him and cats. Um, but this is awesome. This is such a funny and crazy off-the-wall accessory to throw in here. Obviously, it's very fitting for the character, but yeah, this is so <laughs> insane. And look at uh, what a good job they did. The sculpting work on the cat looks great. The details on the face look nice. The sculpting on the fur looks good. The freaking bread looks good. Everything about this looks amazing. So yeah, they did a great job with this uh, cat sandwich. And then he does have his can of soda. I don't know if this is like a brand of soda that they drink in the show or what. It's like a bootleg Pepsi. And uh, yeah, that looks nice. And then he does have a picture of himself, <laughs> which is hilarious. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And then uh, last but not least, we have the ham radio. And I think that's what this thing is called. And this is probably my favorite accessory. I like this a lot because you could get different uses out of it. You could use it for other types of situations and with other figures, not just with Alf. But man, this is crazy. I like how it came with the microphone. And in the episodes that I saw, he was using this to try to communicate with his friends back home. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. But, yeah, I I'm curious to see what people could do with this, you know. This could be a lot of fun. And look at the details on it. They did a great job with everything, with the knobs, the dials, the little gauge right there. This is OG right here, man. This is nice. Oh, I like how it's like, I like how it has these scratches on it, too. That looks good. Makes it look old and beat up. I love how it has the old 
phone cord type of cable on there. Yeah, this is really dope. And then ALF does come with a pair of sunglasses, and I'm not completely sure if this is how they go on him, but this is the best that I could do. And it works. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So good stuff with the sunglasses. <laughs> so ridiculous. Not even close to his eyes. But yeah, I couldn't couldn't figure out another way. So uh, let me know if, like, when you wear sunglasses, is this the way it looks, or am I doing this way wrong? In any case, I think that it's cool that they included these sunglasses. Makes him look even cooler. And then lastly, he does have this really cool soft good shirt. <laughs> and I like this a lot. It's kind of goofy and random. Um, you know, it's got like this weird design with gears and springs on it. <laughs> it's so, uh, you know, very fitting for this type of shirt. It's so like off the wall. But he looks very cool when he has it on. And, you know, it's just held together from a piece of Velcro here on the front. And you could slip it on, on and off very easily. And I like the way they put the buttons on the front to make it look like an actual shirt. Look at that. That is so cool. This is definitely the way that I'm going to display him wearing this. <laughs> I really like that. And it's just so goofy and fitting for his type of humor, you know, like the dad type of humor that he's always running with. Like this shirt works perfectly for that whole that whole vibe, you know. So I like it. I like it a lot. And now for some size comparisons. I'm going to go all over the place with it because... Alf seems like the type of character and figure that people would have a lot of fun just putting him in weird situations that you wouldn't really think for a character like this. Like maybe having him fight against a bunch of stormtroopers or have him like pop up like in the background of a horror shot or something crazy like that. I could see a lot of people doing off the wall things with Alf, um, you know, in regards to photography in that kind of realm, you know, just putting him in weird situations. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So I have a lot of figures to compare him to from all over the place. But we're going to start it off with Alf alongside the Diamond Select Fozzie Bear and Diamond Select Gonzo, both from the Muppets, obviously. And um, yeah, man, like when I was messing with this Alf figure, I was thinking like, damn, this would be a perfect base for a Fozzie Bear figure. And then I went to go grab the Diamond Select one, thought about doing like a head swap, but I think it'd be too small. But you know what? I think that NECA would do some amazing Muppets figures. I like these diamond ones quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I'm very happy to have them. And for now, they are my Muppets. But seeing, you know, this ALF figure really makes me think that NECA could give us some amazing Muppets figures. And the same thing could be said for Disney characters in general. I think that NECA would do an amazing job of just like random Disney characters. That's one thing that I've wanted for so long from an action figure company. I thought Super 7 was going to be the ones to be able to do it, but so far, their Disney stuff has been pretty disappointing. I do love the toy box line that Disney was doing a few years back. I think they still might be doing it, but those figures are kind of hit or miss. And, you know, I don't think they're definitely aimed at, like, adult collectors. <laughs> they're more for kids. Some of them just happen to be really cool, like this one here. This is the Toy Box Mickey. On the opposite side, we have the Revil Tech Nick Wilde from Zootopia, and this is a really great figure. Revil Tech is killing it with the Disney stuff, but it would be nice to have a less expensive option. I think that NECA could definitely deliver like awesome Disney figures for a reasonable price. It'd be cool to see them do that, but unfortunately, it'll probably never happen. And then next up, we have ALF alongside the Boss Fight Studios, Bucky O'Hare, and the Insys Creations, Stranger from Beyond. And then next up, we have them alongside the NECA Turtles Usagi Yojimbo and the NECA Raph in Disguise. And then next up, we have them alongside a Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper and a Valiverse Action Force figure. And then here we have them alongside the Mezco 112 Collective Popeye and the Mattel Masters of the Universe 40th Anniversary He-Man. And then finally, but most importantly, here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. So yeah, I think that Alf is a pretty good size. He's smaller than most other figures that you might match him up with. And, uh, you know, he looks good next to other alien characters and things like that. So yeah, I like the scale of this figure. The articulation on Alf is really good too. The figure is a whole lot of fun to play with. I think that NECA did a great job of incorporating all the joints into the sculpt and making everything look good but still be pretty functional. So I am having fun playing around with this figure. But let's go ahead and take a look starting off at the head. So first off, he does have an articulated mouth, so you can open his mouth to about right there. You could close it, but then the teeth do kind of <laughs> stop it from being all the way closed, but still, that's pretty good. And then he could look up to about right there. Actually, the way the mouth works, oh, yeah, that, oh, that's interesting. So 
The top of the head is on a joint, so that kind of moves around, but then the lower jaw is also like on a separate joint, so that's kind of crazy. Anyways, he could look up to about right there, and then he could look down to about right there. He does have movement at the lower neck, which allows for some pretty cool tilting action to get some attitude <laughs> out of some shots. That's nice. And then obviously he can look side to side. So pretty good movement at the head. The main thing is you want you want him to be able to look up a little bit in case he's hanging out with some humans and you know needs to be looking up to him and saying something ridiculous. <laughs> and then uh, for the torso, he does have like a diaphragm cut, and you are able to uh, you know swivel on that diaphragm cut. You can lean side to side with it, so that's nice. And then it goes forward to about right there, which is pretty good. You know, it's not like a straight up ab crunch, but, you know, it goes forward a decent amount. But look how much it goes back. It's crazy. <laughs> like, that's kind of <laughs> excessive almost. I kind of wish that it went forward that much instead of back. But, yeah, look at that. That's funny. Probably do some cool stuff with that. So, yeah, this uh, torso joint is pretty good. And then for the arms... Uh, let's see what he has going on. He does not have an upper bicep swivel. You're going to get your swivel from the upper elbow piece. But his arms do go all the way around. And then his arms can come up to the side a pretty good amount. Check that out. That'll work for sure. You could get them in front of him to about right there. Which is not a whole lot, but you know, that's fine. And then like I said, you have the swivel on that upper elbow. He has double jointed elbows. Bam, look at that. Those get a pretty good bend. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then what else does he have? Um, looks like you could maybe swivel the forearm, but you don't really need to. It is possible. Um, he has a swivel at the wrist and a hinge at the wrist. And then for the legs, you know, he does his uh, legs are on ball joints and they are covered by his the fur on the lower body. And it covers the joints very, very nicely. But, you know, the thing that NECA is like the master of is making sure that their hip joints work even when they're covered. Like, check this out. Look how much you can rotate the leg. It's like there's a straight up thigh swivel in there, but it's not. It's all rotating. I mean, it, I mean, there is a thigh swivel, but it's like way up high. And, you know, it's like on the inside kind of. So it swivels on that. But then there's the uh, like the ball joint or the joint that's on the ball joint in there kind of swivels as well. So you have the joint that swivels on the ball joint and then the upper thigh that's swiveling and just giving all kinds of movement. Look at that. And it all looks good. So that's really dope. And then you could bring his legs up to about right there, which, you know, that's to be expected. Could go back to about right there. This is kind of soft, so it gets out of the way of the articulation a little bit. What's up with everything going back more than forward? <laughs> that's funny. But, uh, you could probably get it to go forward a little bit more. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. And then he does have single jointed knees, which makes sense for such a short leg. But look at that. You get pretty good bend on it. And then it swivels. And then what do we have going on down here? Oh, man, it's really hard to tell. His feet have like a, a weird shape. So it's, it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on down there. Like, I don't think there's a swivel. But there's a hinge that goes up and down. And then the foot does kind of swivel on the joint in there. I do wish there was a swivel that rotated, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, but yeah, man, articulation on this guy is awesome. He's a whole lot of fun to play with. I mean, I don't know how much articulation a character like Alf necessarily needs. I think this figure has way more than what's actually necessary. But uh, yeah, man, the more articulation, the better. They definitely put a lot in here. And as a result, he's a whole lot of fun to play with. And I'm sure you could get him into like situations that you probably wouldn't have thought of for Alf. <laughs> because uh, usually, you know, he's just standing behind a table or whatever. Or running around. It's funny, when I was watching the show, when uh, it showed, when it was like a full body shot and he was running around, it was like, uh, you could tell it was like a little kid or something inside of a costume. But what I like about this figure is that they gave him proportions that were kind of more appropriate to the way he looked when he was half covered. So, like, <laughs> the full body shots on the show, like, the head sat low, and it looked like a little kid. Right here, it doesn't, you know? Like, the head's a little higher, and, uh, you know, the proportions look more appropriate. But, uh, yeah, man. Anyways, 
Articulation is awesome on this guy, and I am having a whole lot of fun playing around with it. Alrighty, so, overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles, and it's all said and done, I think this guy came out really, really nice. NECA did a great job on it. Everything about him is well done. He looks great. He's got some nice sculpting work. It's all very detailed. Some nice paint. Great accessories. Some pretty nice articulation. Um, you know, nothing over the top, but definitely enough for the character. And this figure just has so much personality. You don't really have to do too much with the articulation to get him to do fun things, you know? Just something simple like tilting the head does a lot. Or opening the mouth, you know? So yeah, this is a really, really nice figure. NECA just killing it with everything. They always do a great job. Um, definitely one of my favorite companies. And it seems like every figure that they put out is impressive. But man, I'm very happy with the way this ALF figure turned out. And, you know, just to remind you guys, this is coming from somebody that has no attachment to ALF as a character or the TV show or anything like that. Strictly from like an action figure fan perspective, I think this guy's awesome. And if you're a fan of ALF, I strongly suggest that you pick this up. Personally, I think that, you know, you'll love this thing because it gives you everything that you'd want out of an ALF figure. Unless I'm missing something, you know. You know, all you hardcore ALF fans, let me know in the comments. Is there something that he doesn't have that he should that needs that would complete this or you know are you guys excited and happy about this i mean obviously you could always throw in more accessories that's a given but i mean for the figure itself is there anything that um you know that NECA did wrong as far as i see they just did a great job on everything so yeah i'm super happy with the way he turned out i'm not 100 percent sure where i'm gonna put him he might be one of those figures that sits next to my computer for a long time and i just pick him up and mess with him every now and then you know i don't know where he's gonna end up in the display but yeah, man, super, super cool figure from NECA. And with that, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Also, be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that I go live. If you're not aware, I do go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m., every Friday at 7 p.m., and every Sunday at 10 a.m. to talk about comics. Also, before I get out of here, I want to give a huge shout-out to the homie DGDX. Um, you probably noticed that I have a new intro on my videos. He did that for me and he absolutely killed it. That dude is the man, super talented and just an awesome guy. Um, you know, I, I've shouted him out in a video before, but I don't know if I actually posted that video. I know that I like went through this whole thing and talked about how awesome he is, but then I, I, I think it was on a video that I scrapped. So I want to make sure, um, you know, to show him some love because he killed it on there and he kills it on every single stop motion video that he posts he always does an amazing job definitely one of the best stop motion guys out there so yeah shout out to him he killed it on the intro he kills it on everything so yeah thank you so much and uh one more thing if you want to support the channel be sure to buy odious plushie um i'll have a link to that in the description below that's it thank you very much peace